All right. So I've got a couple things I need to attend to. So um, bear with me for a couple of minutes. Uh, so I'm going to call this meeting to order. This is the Town of Nottingham Planning Board meeting uh, of April 22nd, 2020. Um, and for everybody who's here, I do appreciate um, you being flexible and, and joining uh, on this web conference and uh, making yourselves available during this time. Um, certainly with the emergency order, it's not um, all that easy um, to get everybody together and be productive, but I think this will, uh, this format will, will help us. Um, if there was a lot of people, I would just ask everybody to mute their microphones, but if it's just going to be the six of us or so, then, you know, if everybody's comfortable with a little bit of background noise here and there, then um, you can either manage yourself in their mute button or if you get unruly, Joanna will shut you off. <laughs> we'll, we'll be good. All right. So I do have to read a couple things, the right to know law virtual meeting. Uh, so as chairman of the planning board due to the uh, COVID-19 coronavirus uh, and in accordance with Governor Sununu's emergency order number 23 pursuant to executive order 2020-4, this board is authorized to meet electronically. Please note that there are no physical location to observe and listen contemporaneously uh, to the meeting, uh, which was authorized pursuant to the governor's emergency order. However, in accordance with the emergency order, uh, this is to confirm that we are uh, providing public access uh, to the meeting by telephone with additional poss access possibilities by video uh, we're utilizing the Zoom platform for this electronic meeting. All members of the committee have been have the ability to communicate uh, during this meeting through the Zoom platform, and the public has access uh, to listen and, if necessary, participate in the meeting through dialing uh, the following phone number. Since nobody else is here, I won't go through all of the digits. Um, Steph, is that okay that I don't read all of the digits? Um, I believe that's okay. Um, it'll be available online and in the minutes, though. So. Okay. Why don't I just say it? Okay. We'll just... <laughs> one two five three two one five eight seven eight two, and the meeting ID is nine four eight zero three zero four. 5502 or by clicking on the following website, which you won't be able to do that. Uh, and we also provided public notice. Uh, we, we gave public notice to the public on how to access Zoom and instructions uh, provided on the Not Nottingham Planning Board website um, so that they could access it. And we are providing a mechanism for the public to alert the public body during a meeting if there are problems with access. So if anybody does have problems, you can call Joanna 603-679-9596 um, that's the planning um, office or you can email uh, Joanna. And then in the event of this public Invent that the public is unable to attend the meeting or access the meeting, we will adjourn the meeting and have uh, to reschedule it. So that said, um, I just another minute, I just want to address on how voting will take place uh, and then how comment and questions can, can happen. Um, all votes that are taken in this meeting will be similar to the last time. Uh, it'll be roll call vote. So I'll just uh, call your name and then you can um, say yay or nay. And so we'll start the meeting similarly with a roll call vote. Um, I will call out everybody's name just in case somebody is listening in um, and, and, and we just don't see them or if there's two people in one room. Um, I'll do that. And then also if there's anyone else in your room that needs to be identified, just state that when I call 
your name. So roll call, which I didn't probably say my name. I'm Dirk Grotenheis, uh, chairman. Uh, so this is roll call, Ed Veal. Ed Veal's absent. Uh, Joe Clough. Present. Susan Mooney. Present. Gary Anderson. Absent. Ian McKinnon. Present. Leanne Gast. Present. Okay. So at this time, I also want to acknowledge, uh, I don't know, Steph, if we need to say you're on the meeting or anything like that, but yeah, Steph, sure. Steph, Steph and Joanna are here. <laughs> and I do, for full disclosure, have um, my roommate, Finn Johnson, is in and out of the room here and there. I'm sure he's going to be really eavesdropping. <laughs> yes, very interested. Or she, I'm sorry, he or she. I don't know. Um, so I would like to seat Leanne for um, Gary uh, for voting purposes. And then I also just want to roll call um, Robert Davies. He's absent. And Tyler Eaton. He's absent. Okay. So we have five, we have a quorum, and we can continue with this meeting. Uh, we have provided access for all public. So let's go ahead and uh, start in on the agenda. And if you don't have it in front of you, Joanna, if you could just present that. <clears throat> so, uh, we did the introduction of members. Uh, we're going to do the election of officers. And since there's a couple of people that are missing, then they're going to, they're going to be it. <laughs> so we can appoint them <laughs> and vote them without them being here. <laughs> Too bad for them. Um, so obviously, uh, currently I am the chair. Ed is the vice chair. Susan, you're the, um, secretary and, um, Ed CIP. I'm sorry, uh, Joe, you're CIP. Yep. And, and, uh, Gary is the SRPC and all of these seats every year are, uh, we have to re-vote on them. So we have to nominate and then vote for each position. Um, and I am absolutely fine if somebody wants to take over chair. Um, I think it's a good thing to do every once in a while to just get over, uh, get a new chair in, switch it up around. But then again, I'm also willing to take that on again. Um, I have talked with Ed a little bit. He is willing to do vice chair. Um, and I haven't talked with uh, Susan or anyone else. So really it, it, the positions are all open is, is that point. So if there are any, well, anyone who wants to volunteer to amend them or to <laughs> have themselves, then that's fine. And we can feel free to, we can discuss this openly or however you want. Mm -hmm. This is Susan. Um, I like the slate as it's been the last couple of years, if everybody is um, okay with that. Um, um, Joe, are you okay being CIP rep? Absolutely. And um, Ian, did you have any um, druthers to, to jump in on any of these positions? Uh, not at this time, uh, just since I'm so new to it, but if... If I needed to fill the position, I'd be happy to, but probably get a year under my belt and feel better about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Um, I've not heard from Gary um, and Joanne. I'm not sure if you have 
No. Okay. That, you know, that could be a position that if Gary wanted to back off, um, that we could attend to um, at a later date. Yeah, that's that's very true. Um, in fact, I, I there's two volun two representatives from Nottingham. Gary's one, and I'm the other. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just not active. <laughs> um, oh, well, there you go, Ian. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, jump into the deep end. <laughs> yeah, if Gary didn't want to hold that position again, I'd be willing to step in for that. Okay, and we can, that's something we can switch after this. So, um, you know, if you and Gary want to tag team that, or it's a great way to, and Steph can attest to, I mean, it's a great way to get involved with, um, you know, the region, um, what what's happening what other communities are doing relative to transportation, uh, relative to, um, you know, zoning and, and other things. So, yeah. 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 yeah I'd say if, if Gary didn't have the intent of rerunning, then I'd be happy to fill that. Okay. All right. Well, we'll talk with Gary after, you know, uh, we'll find out from Gary and then if not, you're also more than welcome to, take my spot over. I, like I said, I haven't been active, just haven't had the time. Okay. So at this time, uh, Mr. Chairman, I move that we uh, retain the list of officers that we have um, on the planning board. Shall I go through them? No. Okay. Just okay. need to need a second and that was Joe yep so the motion by Sue that we remain the same board setup or, or, or officer setup and Joe seconded it any any more discussion hearing none um, I'll take a, a roll call vote um, Either answer yes or no, yay or nay. Uh, Joe Clough? Yes. Susan Mooney? Yes. Ian McKinnon? Yes. Leanne Gast? Yes. And it doesn't matter what I say, so I say yes. So, Ed, welcome. You are the new chairman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Ed. You're muted, Ed. That might be for a good reason. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all for uh, tardiness. And obviously, that's a well, not representative of. Uh, what I plan on doing as chair. So thank you all for that vote of confidence. Oh, well, we were just kind of kidding. Okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, oh that, sorry for my dry sense of humor, but that's all right. You want it? You got it. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're you're going to four year old. You never know what's going to happen. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so sorry, Ed, we did, Sue made the motion that we keep the same officers. That's fine, too. Joe seconded it, and oh, everybody so, was in favor. So embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we have Dirk leading us again? Oh, boy. <laughs> I know, I should probably take that uh, worse than I did. <laughs> You're more than welcome to usurp, usurp me anytime. That's all right. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so then we uh, have next on the agenda, uh, and I do want to recognize, um, I guess, Ed Veal, the vice chair, uh, has joined the meeting and will be a, uh, a voting member as well. Here forward. Uh, so the planning goals 2020, um, Joanna, was there, 
do you have a list to show or are we just going with a blank slate right now? Um, that was what we were discussing with Steph about um, her sending it to us. And that's three pages. I can, po I can oh. share it if you want. Okay. About it. Yeah, let's, let's, let's move that to the next meeting. Okay. And then we can become all professionals at video conferencing by then. The, next, not, meeting, the if, next meeting in eight minutes. <laughs> the next next meeting. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to go to the uh, acceptance of bylaws. And the bylaws, I had them up. The, the bylaws have not changed since, what, 2018? They've, they've stayed the same? Right. That's correct. And, and last <clears throat> year, we, we even just decided to vote to continue those without amendments or changes. Um, I suggest, if, unless anybody has any edits they want to have to the bylaws, that we just continue those uh, on into this next year. Mr. Chair, I have um, two comments on the bylaws. Um, let me see, Article 2, Section 3, that says, um, within six months of assuming office for the first time, any non-ex officio member of the planning board may at the member's option complete at least six hours of training for the member's respective position. Steph, has that changed at the state level? Where I they get has, but um, let me look that up real quick. Okay. I know there. I know what Sue. I think what you're referring to is there was. I know there was a either a House bill or a Senate bill to make that re a requirement. Yeah. Um, I, don't that, I don't know if that's adjudicated yet. I think the last I saw, they had changed the language instead of shall to should or may. <laughs> Yeah, we've got May. Sorry, oh. Susan, did you say that for the ex officio member? Say that again, Steph. I'm sorry, was that for the ex officio member or for any member? It was for all except the Board of Selectmen okay. person. And you think we should change it to something different or just to be consistent with if the state changed it? So oh, was my, my, yeah. my, it was, my question was if the state had changed that as a requirement for a new member to um, attend a training session within that first year, then we would need to amend our own um, document. But if that hasn't happened, then we can just leave it as such. Okay. And Steph was checking on it. All right, did you have a second point you wanted to make? E yes, on, um, let me see, Article 5, um, Section 2, Planning board members and alternates who miss three or more consecutive meetings, hearings, workshops without notifying the clerk may be subject to removal by action of the Board of Selectmen in accordance with RSA 673 colon 13 Roman numeral 2. And I looked at that RSA and it continues to say after a public hearing. And I kind of think we should include that after a public hearing rather than the Board of Selectmen summarily given the authority to do that <clears throat> without stating after a public hearing. Yeah, I'm just reading through it now. Yeah. But the RSA is on page 391 of our Planning books. Okay. Does it go on to define what constitutes notifying the clerk? 
Um, it has to do with missing three or more consecutive meetings, blah, 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 without notifying the clerk. I'm just curious about the definition of notification and just thinking about the meeting where we didn't have quorum last year. Mm. But this, this is also um, the statement says may be subject to mm, okay. rather than shall be subject to. So there's some, there's some back and forth there, discretionary sorts of things. But my comment was that we probably should include the verbiage in um, that's included in our planning book after a public hearing. May be subject to removal by action of the Board of Selectmen after a public hearing in accordance with RSA, blah, blah, blah. I have no objection to that. I, I think it's pretty low risk if it's mm. if it stays the same. More time. Well, it just caught my attention to the point where I went to the planning book and looked it up. If we didn't change it, I think someone would have a case to say that the state has supremacy in that case. So if they didn't have a public hearing, they could argue that they should get one. That's true. That's true, Joe. And yeah. Steph, the yeah. House yeah. bill that she was talking about was House Bill 1629. I know it passed the House at least, um, but it was amended. So I don't know what the final outcome was on that. Okay. okay. Um, as 733A reads right now, um, it says within the first year of assuming office, a new member of the zoning board of adjustment or planning board may complete offered by the office of strategic initiatives yeah uh, so that's a may not a shall or mm -hmm. a should. so that's as it reads it's right now um you said it was senate bill 16 or house bill 1629 yeah i i i like the may on that one only because i mean if if there isn't a training session or if there, you know, it's not in the control of that new member and then we're, we're, we're kind of stuck in, with having that requirement, but there isn't a training session they can attend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would, I would be, I'd be comfortable with changing it to should instead of may, cause that's still not demanding. It. It's not saying a shall, but it, it's kind of just encouraging it a little bit more than a may does. I don't know the legal definition of should and may. Should, child, may, the three. <clears throat> well, it might just be uh, wise to wait and see where this House bill goes when it is passed over to the Senate before we take any, um, any action. Okay, and I, I think like Joe had said, you know, we can always fall back or someone can fall back on the state's regulation. Um, I mean, that's really what we're guiding, which, which is the guiding document for ours. So are we, are we th thinking not to change it or is it, is may and shall enough to edit these or or, or, or Sue adding that in? Yeah, well, no, I think may is good for now. Shall means must. So let's, let's not do the must. Yeah, okay. Should, that's what I meant it, to say. Yeah, should, yeah. I think the way it is is, is okay for now. So and and those are the only two comments. I, Go ahead, Ed. You get your hand. That's okay, sorry, I'm all, all set. Okay. Uh, so I, I want to recognize that Gary Anderson has joined the meeting, or at least one of the Andersons have. Uh, that would be me. All right. <laughs> Hi, Gary. Hi. Sorry, no uh, camera on this thing, but I'm here. That's all right. So, you look good in your jammies. <laughs> or whatever, right? <laughs> or oh, whatever. 
Um, so, so Gary, we, we did start it a little bit early and, um, so we're kind of in the middle of things. So we, let me see. I, I already seated Leanne for you. Cause we started at six 30. Is that, is that okay? If you just want to listen in and participate. Sure. Absolutely. I, I'm sorry. I thought we were on seven o'clock. My, my bad. No, that's okay. So we did, we did um, elect all of the officers. And Congratulations, everyone. That was well, you weren't there. So <laughs> you now have the chair duties for, for this next year. I'm just kidding. Before you react. Thank <laughs> God. Before, before your acceptance speech. <laughs> that would be so embarrassing if you gave an acceptance speech when that joke was pulled. <laughs> you did the same thing to me, Gary. <laughs> oh, I, so you feel my pain. Okay. Oh, I did give the acceptance speech, so yes. <laughs> he's, he's feeling it worse than you. Um, yeah, so so we've, we've elected officers. Everything's going to stay the same as it was last year. That was uh, Sue that made the motion, Joe that seconded it, and everybody else voted um, unanimously. That's great. I'm sorry I missed it, and but I'm glad to uh, hear everybody's on board as, as is. So we, we did vote you as the SRPC representative as, again. Um, and, and so, we're either hoping that you want to continue with that or um, Ian McKinnon has shown an interest. I know we do have two seats um, for the SRPC, but um, yeah, that's up to you. If you want to continue that, Ian may um, have interest in that moving in the future. I'm, ap I'm absolutely in interested in uh, continuing that if, uh if possible, sure. Yeah, yeah, great. Mm. Yeah, thank you, Gary. Oh, my pleasure. I, I don't have any objections to Gary voting if uh, he wants to take that back. I don't know if you can do that mid-meeting. Um, I, I don't know. Can we do it mid-meeting? Let's just stick with what we have. I, I think if Gary, Gary can provide his input and he can say no, <laughs> and, and then we'll have his opinion, right? The only thing for the bylaws that I would recommend is that uh, just clean up at the very end where it's the date adopted. The dates are kind of out of order. So if we readopt these just to uh, maybe put those back in order. Right. And do we need to keep change, adding the date on there every time we adopt it if we don't amend them? Yeah, but, well, no, because we didn't amend it last year and we would have adopted it or we would have had to added last year's date in it. We didn't change anything. Just thinking that can get out of hand if we're adding that year every single year. No, no, no. I think that's what we, we had this discussion last year. I do remember and we made it that no, we're not going to add the date if we don't amend it because there wasn't anything changed. But yes, we would have every all the new signatures sign it. Yep. So, would you like a motion to just that we continue under the bylaws as written? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, I move that we continue operating under the bylaws for uh, the Planning Board of New Ham Nottingham, New Hampshire, as currently adopted. I second. Motion uh, by Ed, second by Sue Mooney. Uh, any other discussion? I'll roll call vote. Um, Ed Veal? Aye. Yay. Joe Clough? Yes. Sue Mooney? Yes. Ian McKinnon? Yes. Leanne Gast? Yes. Okay. So. My vote's yes, that's unanimous. So we'll continue on with those. Joanna, if you get the uh, signature page 
maybe <laughs> maybe we can all be in the room together in a few weeks or something. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So let's go back to that agenda. Oh, I have it in front of me. So this is when we would enter uh, some of the public hearings. Uh, we have received continuation requests for both cases. Uh, so the first case, which is um, 19014 SUB, is uh, Jeffrey and Susan Paradis. And they sent a letter uh, to the planning board requesting a continuance. Um, and they're requesting uh, processing submittal of the application to the ZBA to request a variance for the hydrogeological study requirement. Um, they did request the continuance to in the letter to uh, May 19th. That's not a day we have a meeting. Um, so I would suggest that we have the continuance go until, oh, Joanna wants to yeah. give me some information. So Ed pointed that out and I sent an email back to them and they've agreed to make my seventh. They're meeting um, with the zoning board on the 19th. Okay, great. So very, very good. Thank you for doing that. So they, we have written yeah. confirmation that the continuance can go to the 27th. All right. Just an administrative question before we continue on this. Do we have to formally close the business only meeting for minutes purposes? Does that have to be a separate set of minutes? No, it hasn't been. It's okay. always been rolled into, oh. Because we usually would just have that voting of officers and bylaws on its own day. Well, that's a good question, actually. Well, the, way, the way the agenda is written, because I just looked at that too, I was curious. The way the agenda is written, it's one it's one meeting commencing at 6.30 for the public meeting of uh, our part and then 7 p.m. for the public hearing. I think we're okay the way uh, the chair announced it. Right, yeah, that, okay. that's how that's how we were thinking about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. So the 6.30 to 7 was the time that we did our business. <clears throat> so the minutes should reflect something similar to that, that, you know, we started the public hearing at seven o'clock or close. Just say seven. Uh, the, so the continuation, um, I guess I would request a motion for the continuation of this until May 27th. And before we do, um, I'd mentioned, or, or I'd had the, um, check in with the applicant to see in case on a lot of times on the major subdivisions we have held uh site walks um and i didn't want it where this one's already been continued a few times i didn't want to delay it any further uh so i'd had uh staff check in with the applicant to see if they'd be amenable if we choose to vote on a site walk tonight with them not being present um if they give us verbal or written agreement to be able to hold that so figured the board should discuss that if they want to do a site walk on this one before the uh, before the 27th meeting. Did we get authorization? I don't think we need to get authorization by RSA. No, we had to get the authorization because they're not here. So we had to get their um, their. I think they they offered some dates that that work for them. Is that right, stuff? Mm-hmm. So um, I got a couple dates that didn't work for James Franklin, the surveyor, um, who I believe is the applicant rep on this one. Um, I asked, Joanna, did you get a chance to follow up with the property owners? I sent an email. I did not get a response. Correct. But we, but we have the, their, their um, representative that said, yeah. So do we, we don't need a separate, right? Yes, I would just like you guys to keep in mind that um, if there is a site walk and the stay at home order is extended um, to keep in mind how many people are going to be there um, and in what capacity. Um, right. if we have more than nine people, then we would be exceeding that um, emergency order. Another comment um, I'd like to make on behalf of the Conservation Commission 
is where this is um, located on an aquifer, and there are um, uh, wetlands and steep slopes involved. I would appreciate it. The commission would appreciate having an invitation to join um, the planning board as long as we don't exceed nine people and keep social distancing. Okay, so right now it stands that, you know, there is an acceptance that we can go visit the site. There's a couple of dates that don't work for some. Um, I think what I'd like to do is just outside this meeting, get a specific schedule nailed down. Mm -hmm. And then um, prior to the, um, it probably makes sense to do it after the 19th to find out what the zoning board has said. Um, and we do have a meeting on the 13th, is that right? Yes. So why don't we um, try and get a schedule uh, let's see if there's a schedule that fits with them um, between the 19th and the 27th. Okay. And Joanna, how much notice do you need to build up if we do vote on, on the um, 13th for a site walk? How much notice do you need before, you know, how many days out does that push us? Notice it? Ooh, yep. I haven't done that one in a long time. Yeah. Steph, do you know that off the top of your head or no? All right, we'll, we'll have time, basically. Okay. I'll make it up to find that out. Yeah, I think instead of, you know, just picking a date right now, let's let's just try and coordinate one. We've got a little bit of time. But the, the point is that I think a site walk is desired. All right, so you're just looking for a motion on the, uh, the continuum? Yeah, yep. Um, Mr. Chairman, I move that we accept the request for continuance um, for the Paradise case to May 27th at 7 p.m. Is there a second? A second. Sue seconds. Any other discussion? I'll roll call. Uh, Joe Clough? Yes. Sue Mooney? Yes. Ian McKinnon? Yes. Leanne Gast? Yes. Oh, Ed? Yes. Beal? Sorry, I, I had you on the top and then I crossed you off because you weren't here. So uh, my vote's yes, so that motion carries. That brings us to the <clears> second <throat> continuance, um, and that is for case. 20001 SUB, the application from Beals Associate, five lots. Um, they have requested a continuance also to the 27th. So I'd entertain a motion for that to be accepted. Mr. Chairman, I move that we accept the continuance request for case 20-001-SUB, uh, Beals Associates, um, to May 27th at 7 p.m. I'll second that one. Joe, you're always late on that button. <laughs> that must be the that must be a lag in the network. <laughs> Sue's right on it. All right. Uh, mo motion uh, by Ed and um, second by Sue. I'll roll call vote. Ed Veal. Yes. Joe Clough? Yes. Sue Mooney? Yes. Ian McKinnon? Yes. Leanne Gast? Yes. And Dirk Rotenheis, yes. That's unanimous. All right. Uh, then the rest of it is um, staff and board updates. I'll just go around as they are up here. So, Joanna, you want to go first? Any updates for you? Sure. Um, so, our next meeting is the 13th, and um, I have EverSource and the Berry Survey, which is um, 
Mitchell Road case and Bassett, um, which is uh, down by the lake. So we have three cases for that for that meeting. Okay. Um, I'll be waiting for some guidance from SRPC hopefully um, on how to notice a meeting that we don't know if it's going to be Zoom or in person. Um, so hopefully we'll have that. But um, so we may be meeting in person. We may not be by then. Okay. Okay. But other than that, I don't have anything else yet. All right. I, I don't have any updates. Steph? Um, I don't have any updates. Just going off of what Joanna was saying, we are also waiting on some guidance on how to proceed with that. Yep. Um, <laughs> so stand by. Yep. Yep. That's the story of our lives right now. Stand by. Mm -hmm. um, Ian, do you have anything uh, to share or update? Not uh, this time, no. Joe? No, no updates. Man? No, no updates. Ed? Not bad this time, sir. Gary? Only that Stratford's talking about an annual meeting, but of course, as you said, Everything's up in the air. Yep. Um, Susan. Um, just uh, letting you folks know that the Conservation Commission did not meet on April 13th. There was no pressing business to attend to, so we decided to just postpone the um, um, agenda until May. We did get a kiosk up on Canard Road at the um, William E. Kennard uh, Forest this past weekend. There's no map in place, but um, that, that, that will be a uh, very, very handsome uh, welcome to people who want to walk that, those, those trails that we've been working on, the Trails Committee. Leanne has been very active on, on the Trails Committee as well. Oh, that's that's it. That's great. Uh, I can skip over public comment. We don't have anybody uh, that's public attending unless a member wants to step down and address as a public. I see none, so let's move to the minutes. There's three sets, uh, October 9th, 2019, November 13th, 2019, and February 26th, 2020. Any comments, uh, additional comments on those or can we get a motion to get those in? I just have a question. This is Susan. I just have a question for Joanna. When I um, downloaded those minutes and took a look, November 13th, there was only page one. Had all of the other pages been attended to um, for edits prior to that? Yes, they had. I'm curious as to why. Okay. 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 okay, because I know that was one in which you asked who took minutes for that meeting, and, and I know it wasn't me, and, and so I think it was Jen. Okay. So, Mr. Chairman, I move that we um, accept the minutes for October 9, 2019, November 13, 2019, and February, February 26, 2020. The motion, uh, any second? I'll second. Um, motion by Sue Mooney, second by Ed Veal. Um, roll call vote. Ed Veal? Yes. Joe Clough? Yes. Susan Mooney? Yes. Ian McKinnon? Yes. Leanne Gast? Yes. And Dirk, yes. That brings us to the end of our agenda and a very successful Zoom meeting. Yes. There, there is one more motion that's needed. Mr. Chairman, I motion to adjourn. Did uh, I get that in on time? You got that one. <laughs> a second. Motion in a second. Everybody's in agreement. I assume we are adjourned. Well, thank Be you. Safe, this everybody. Was, this was interesting. Appreciate it. Yes. Yep. Yep. Good job, everyone. Yep. yep. Thanks, Joanna and Steph, for setting this up. Thank yep. you. Guys. Thank you. Take care. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Good night.